Ani Abis Kanga Kellen, I'm in second year at Davis College Medal. Uh, we want to make the tractor more visible by adding reflective paint to the tires. But at the moment, you can't buy this paint in the market because it'd be too expensive to manufacture and also it'd be hard to make it stick to rubber. Okay. I chose this project because I was talking to local people and they said that it was very dangerous when you're driving against the tractor that you never really know how wide the tractor is until you come up close to it. Um, we connected the Road Safety Authority, the Health and Safety Authority, Tagus and a few tyre companies. Um, we got some excellent information off the Road Safety Authority, the Health and Safety and also we got a few ideas from Tagus. In this shed we put two tractors, one with no reflective paint or no reflective tape in the tyres and one with reflective paint in the tyres to, to show how visible that it was if you didn't have it and if you did have it. The tape goes in between the grooves because there's le the least wear in those parts of the tyre and also that they're the easiest place to see. In this light tunnel it's a simulation of the two tractors one tractor with reflective paint, which is on the back, and the other tractor on the front without it. There is a massive difference with the one the back rather than the one the front, as it has the reflective tape. There's a light in the front of it shining back just to show how bright it actually is. From doing the surveys, we also got a few recommendations from farmers and also kept road users. The recommendations were manufacture reflective tires, put lights on top of the mud guards to show the actual width of the tractor, a reflective sleeve over the bale spikes and bale handlers of front loaders, and a removable width bar to show the exact width of the tractor.